Hi, I'm Boris and I will tell you how to solve the problem G. So in this problem you will have uh, 200 of thousands of points in three-dimensional grid and uh, let's define a function like cost of a point as the formula which you can see on the iPad. So uh, what you need to do is find a minimum over all points which you had of this formula and the first thing which you can do is actually try to imagine this as a like three-dimensional grid, some points are there and so on, and you need to actually find some pretty hard um, formula. And this is like a wrong way, and we actually just need to think about this as a math formula and forget about geometry at all. So how we can solve this? Let's just iterate over all points there, and for each point we will calculate this function. So we actually can uh, handle eight different cases. Basically for each of uh, three expressions here, you can think of, uh, is it like zero or non-zero? So for example, let's say that the first and the third expression is non-zero and the second one is zero. So let's think about uh, what it will be equal to. So you can think that this expression is at least as big as just x, y minus x plus uh, z, y minus z. And as you can see, it's pretty straightforward formula that uh, you need to calculate, which basically uh, depends only on like uh, this constants x and z in the end, and you have some formula based on the uh, initial points. So what you actually need to do is find the maximum of x, y plus z, y uh, over all endpoints. And basically you will have like eight different cases where you have to sum like x and z and y and so on. Um, and what you need to do is try to find the maximum of eight possible points. And then for each point, you will find like another point, uh, which is one of those eight, and just like take a maximum of this. Uh, when we calculate the cost value for each of the points there, you can calculate the answer just by uh, iterating over all of them and just taking the minimum. So that's it, thanks.